Hey guys, I just parked in Magic Kingdom. I'm here because I'm gonna go check out the Halloween decorations. It's September 15th, and this is the day that Disney promised Halloween decorations uh, at the Magic Kingdom on Main Street. And I believe they are also doing some uh, spooky Halloween character cavalcades throughout the park at random times during the day. So I just parked and I'm of course at the Ticket and Transportation Center, gonna head in and uh, head inside the Magic Kingdom and check out the decorations. Come on with me. So quickly, quickly went through uh, temperature check and security check. Listen, it is so quick right now. I know when I go on TikTok Live, a lot of people ask about the process of getting in. It's much quicker now, I think. Number one, obviously reduce, ca reduce uh, capacity, but also the security, you don't have to uh, have your bag fully checked by a person. They're checking it via scanners now. So the only thing you have to take out of your bags is umbrellas and metal water bottles. So it makes the whole process a lot quicker. So I'm here and I gotta decide how I'm gonna get over ferry boat or monorail. So I like the ferry boat ride. I'll take the ferry boat if it's docked and it is docked right now. So I'm hopefully I can make this one because I don't really have, I don't wanna have to wait. So I'm headed to the ferry boat right now. Let's see if I can get on. So I got on board the ferry boat. He was like, I thought I saw somebody. So I'm, I'm glad they saw me. So I'm on the tip top deck. I'm on the only one on the top deck right now. It's a Tuesday afternoon, September 15th. So it's it's definitely, like I, I've said before in my TikTok lives when I go live, the weekdays definitely are the best to come. You won't hardly see anyone here. So let's check out to see how many people are in the Magic Kingdom on a Tuesday afternoon. Today is the first day of Halloween decorations. So I'm sure it's a little bit busier because of that. So I'm inside Magic Kingdom now. So <laughs> my first impression is I'm a little bit disappointed because normally they have the scarecrows right here behind me in Town Square. And unfortunately they didn't put the square, the scarecrows up. It looks like the extent of the decorating is on the lampposts with the um, jack-o'-lanterns on the lamppost. So I'm a little bit, disappointed that they didn't do the scarecrows my guess is they felt like people would be crowding around them to get pictures <clears throat> so unfortunately the scarecrows are not up I am disappointed um, but that's okay it's good that there's some decor here I'm excited to see some of the entertainment that they have. There's no entertainment right now in Town Square. Sometimes I walk in and Mickey and the gang are up on the train station, but not currently. I'm sure they'll be out here see soon. I've seen uh, that there's a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, character caval cavalcade that comes through. So hopefully we'll get to see that and maybe some villains, uh, but yeah. Town Square is mildly decorated for Halloween. Definitely not the full decor job. I see Tim Tracker is here. He and his wife are here with the baby. They're walking right over here. Um, I would go up and say hello, but they, they just had somebody do that to them and I don't want to be that person. Um, it's hot today. It's pretty darn hot. But this is 
prime time for it to be hot since it's in the middle of the afternoon, like probably like almost four o'clock or so. So yeah, let's take a walk, check out the rest of the decorations uh, down Main Street. Hollow refreshments uh, at Liberty Square and unfortunately they are sold out of the Madame Leota cup I wanted to get it it lights up it looks pretty cool but unfortunately they are sold out I'm too late maybe they'll be restocked later in the season but they are sold out today so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to get they do have corn dog nuggets now. I had to look up and see where they're serving those. I might get those. Uh, I would like to do a Halloween treat though. So I got to, I have a list from Disney Food Blog of all the Halloween treats here. So I gotta look through that list and figure out what I want. 
but um, I think it's pretty pretty busy here for uh, Tuesday during COVID, mainly because I think it's first day of Halloween decor. That's why it's pretty busy. I mean, it's not busy if we were in a uh, pre-COVID world, but for post-COVID world, uh, it's a pretty busy day for a Tuesday. So at Crystal Palace, Winnie the Pooh and friends are out. They are greeting from afar. This is actually probably the closest that I've been to characters really since Disney reopened. Pretty cool that they're out here on the porch of Crystal Palace where they normally would be for character dining. But we have Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore, Eeyore is at the end. I'm not sure if you can see him, but uh, pretty nice. You can actually step up pretty close to Winnie the Pooh. He stays on the porch and you just stay uh, down at the bottom of the steps. I tried to get corn dog nuggets at Westward Ho. It's right there behind me and it's closed. So not sure when it's open, but it's closed on a Tuesday afternoon. So I have no idea what I'm going to eat. Uh, yeah, that's what you're going to find on some of these things is that some of the some of the places are open, I think, just on the weekends. So, kind of sucks that you get to a place thinking you're going to have something and then you get there and it's closed, but that's okay. We go with the flow. So, I'll try something else. So, I got the poor unfortunate souls float. I can smell it so it's um, cream cheese soft serve and coke and I think it's blackberry? Raspberry I think maybe? So anyway I'm going to step over to the side of the bench, try it, see how it tastes. You can smell, I can smell the cream cheese. So it smells really good. I finished the float <clears throat> a little bit messy because it melts so quick in the sun so I had to like eat it really quickly but it was okay I prefer the Kakamora float that they have right now um, over in Adventureland this float definitely there was a berry taste to the cream cheese soft serve and I smelled the cream cheese more than I tasted the cream cheese and then when it mixed with the Coke, because there's Coke in the float, um, when it mixed with the Coke, it almost had like a, a grape taste. So eh, it was okay. Um, but it's pretty to look at. The color's really nice. <laughs> so now I've, so I've seen all the entertainment that they have for um, their Halloween layover of the Magic Kingdom. I've seen all the decor. So I'm gonna hang out for a little bit. But uh, I mean, I think, I think Disney's doing a good job. I wish they would have done the Scarecrows still. I really wish they would have done the Scarecrows in Town Square. And then I wish they would have de decorated the train station because they didn't really decorate the train station. They didn't um, put like the, the swag or the banners. I guess they were kind of the, the Halloween banners. They didn't put those up, the orange, yellow, and white banners that they normally hang. But that's okay, it's good that they put the pumpkins up to give a little bit of a holiday spirit. My guess is this is going to be very similar for Christmas. They're going to do minimal Christmas decorations. So we'll see, we just have to wait and see what they do. But I'm glad that they're doing it. Um, and they, you know, that they feel like they, they should be doing it. I think that it's good. 
So I'm just gonna hang out here a little bit more, but uh, it was just a quick trip into the park to take a look at that stuff, grab another uh, seasonal treat, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.